My name is Poppy Duvenbeck and my work is Bleached Paradise Lost. So my work's about climate change and our man-made impacts on the environment. So it focuses mainly on coral bleaching and the kind of coral bleaching that is going on in our oceans right now and has been going on. There's been a big coral bleaching event since 2014, but it's also about um, just widely climate change and our impact on the environment and this devastating loss of like the unique ecosystems and stuff that results from that. So the thoughts and feelings that I was exploring in the work were just kind of of um, a frustration and a sadness about what's occurring in our oceans right now and what's occurring all over the world just on our lands and everywhere as a result of climate change but also just frustration with our governments that there is so much proof that it's happening right now. So the materials that I used were ceramics and porcelain and so I used porcelain because it's a very pure material and it's when it fired it's just pure white which is what I wanted to represent with the coral bleaching but also because it's very delicate and that also represents like the delicate nature of the coral. So I'd never used porcelain before but my teacher just said use porcelain so I did and it just it worked out really well because it did represent what I wanted to show. Um, but it was pretty hard working with, you've got to keep it wet constantly, like it has to just be damp. So you have to also work pretty fast. The one at the end is completely covered in colour and it's vibrant and colourful. And the one at the end, at the other end, is completely white and slowly as it goes on, each one is covered less and less until the end when there's just no colour left. In concept, an artist that inspired me was um, an artist called Courtney Madison, who did a similar kind of themed work with ceramics where it was a big wall installation that um, was coloured in the middle and bled out to also represent coral bleaching. And she's really interesting because she's a marine biologist or something in that area and so she is also a scientist saying, look at what's happening. My mentor while I was making my artwork was my teacher and she was just so helpful in talking to me about my artwork and we brainstormed a lot about my concept and how to present my concept. The advice I'd give to young artists undertaking their body of work is just to do something that one, you're really passionate about in the concept, but two, that you really love doing. But I think it's also really important to just be really passionate about what you're making your artwork about and what you want to represent, because if you do that, then it will come across in your work and it will be clear and it will just be amazing.